What is up, my internet friends and family? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Scooby Doo Exposed by Berlizzi. Now, I'm. Uh, I don't really want to watch. I do want to watch this, but I don't really want to watch this because if he goes really hard, it might end up ruining my childhood because I used to love Scooby Doo as a kid. But with that being said, hopefully, this is pretty awesome. The original link's in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Berlizzi if you haven't already. That link's also in the description. But with that being said, let's begin. Damn, do y'all hear these squeaky ass bats? Need some WD-40 or some shit? What the f*** is that? Yo, did they, did they just skeet on me? <laughs> you skeet and then spell somebody... That's how you, how you spell a man's name with your skeet? And then ask, where are you? No wonder he gulping like that. Look at this trash ass, scary ass squad. Nobody heard him move that? Look at his eyes! Why does his chin have so much ass? Look, I, I, you already know what time it is. Drop the beat, bitch. Oh. All right, once again, I have nothing against the gays, but this motherfucker here is on the prowl for some fucking ass. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Wait, how do you know he's gay? Because of his chin? His ass chin? I mean, that chin is freaking insane. It's huge. It's definitely, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a good rival to the chin of Rotten Robbie from We Are Number One, or from Lazy Town. But, uh, I mean, how the hell does this make him gay because of his chin? But not for no girls, nah. He wants a piece of that Scooby-Doo ass, that Shaggy ass, and definitely that Fred ass. Just watch, I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. I know y'all see Daphne's sexy, red-headed ass. Oh my gosh, if I was in this show, fuck Scooby-Doo. She would've got this Scooby-Goo, bitch. <laughs> Scooby-Goo? But hey, the point of this- <laughs> Scooby-Goo? <laughs> That's disgusting. I was really hesitant to react to this because of- I love- Scooby-Doo is definitely one of my all-time favorite shows as a kid. Well, that and Spongebob. I mean, I used to watch Scooby-Doo all the time, and... I mean, it, over everything, o over all of the exposed, Scooby-Doo and Spongebob are, like, the most important to my childhood because that's what I watched the most. So, I'm really hesitant to watch this, and the first friggin' scene of this, it was, you know... He said that they were skeeting on you... And then it spelled the words, Scooby-Doo, where are you? I mean, that that's one way how to start a video, and one way how to ruin my childhood. And now you're saying that you would give her the Scooby-Goo. This is, watch how this ghost does this weak-ass reach for her. Look at that, he didn't even try, but then look at Fred, look! How does he pull a grown man sitting in a chair like that? And where is he taking him? Look how sad he looks. Fuck that though. Fred, bring your ass back here, boy. I can't stand this Brady Bunch looking motherfucker oh, with this Tommy Hilfiger deluxe long shirt. This dude be going everywhere and that shirt never gets dirty. Oh, prissy bitch. What the fuck is that orange thing around his neck? I think yeah, they what call is those that? things ascots. Your ass got ripped off when you wasted money on this fake ass tie. That shit goes around your collar, dumbass, not on your neck. <laughs> fake ass Donald Trump looking bitch. Yo, is that actually supposed to be a tie? I never noticed that. Is that actually supposed to be a tie and he put it around his neck, not around the actual collar? How can you mess up that big? Frig, I never even noticed that. I hate you, bitch. Give me Daphne, bitch. I want her, bitch. Please, bitch. Look at how they just sitting there watching this shit. Are, are y'all friends with the ghost now? What's going on? One minute y'all scared, the next y'all chilling with the mother Fake ass. Now y'all all track stars and shit. Scooby, what the fuck is that? You know what? Everybody can get flamed for they run. Fred just think he tight. He a bitch. Daphne run into me because I'm, I'm naked. Hell yeah. <laughs> running like she got a doodle -doo and she on her way to a toilet. Shaggy <laughs> running like he late for church or some shit. Why does Scooby running like like Michael Phelps like he doing a breaststroke or something? <laughs> is this Scooby Doo or Crash Bandicoot? Fake ass a Gooby Ball, bitch. Hey, I know I've been talking a lot of shit on Fred. This is just jokes. Hey, but real shit though, you know how Fred's supposed to be the buff, strong one in this? Hey, but watch Shaggy though. He he ain't he ain't no bitch. He kind of got body. Pause. Just take a second and really look at how big Scooby Doo is. They like the same height. How y'all both? 
this big and still bitches. Does Scooby Doo like a great game? Damn, dude, just fall! What? What is that? <laughs> Yo, hold up. Let me rewind this. Shit. Okay, so they all in a group. First off, where does he get those skates from? And why does he own them if he don't even know how to f use them? Are you doing the reject, bitch? What is that? Look at how long his motherfucker arms are. And then he get in here and start busting nuts on himself. Look at what was that, yo? Come on, dude. He knew damn well where he was going. I don't give a damn. If y'all don't think Velma could get it, y'all must be as blind as she is with these thick ass bifocals she got on. She was the full package, man. Brains. Brains. I, I mean, she's cute too, but I bet she had ass under that sweater too. Damn. I think Daphne and Velma both had a crush on Fred though. Man, f Fred! Damn! Yeah, Fred was like a player. He would always say, you know, let's split up. Velma and Daphne will go with me to the bedroom, and Shaggy and Scoob can, you know, go elsewhere. What do you think they were doing in the bedroom? Uh, pause! Who is that? Yo, these monsters are honestly trash as hell. Is this Bioshock? SpongeBob? Fuck off my screen! Oh my gosh! What is that? Scooby, what the fuck? Okay, first off, this dude was running in a barrel with a hole right where his dick is supposed oh, to go. No. I bet this dude was headed to the bathroom where Shaggy was at. Oh, glory hole, brothers. <laughs> then he slams into this man. Pop <laughs> glory hole, brothers. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Pops out and looks right at his dangling. And then looks up at him. And look how this dude looks back at him. Look at that. That creepy ass smile, he's like, look, you about to get all this Scooby Goo! Yeah, I'd be scared too, you're next! Don't tell me to sh quiet down, bitch! It's exposed, bitch, I tell everybody. What what book is that? What are they reading? That doesn't even have a title. <laughs> I bet they smoke some of Shaggy sh and now they're trying to act like they're not high as a f***ing kite right now. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby the only one who can't play it off, though. Look at his high ass. <laughs> trying to read. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. Man. Oh my god! Pause! Yeah, you caught the villain all right all over your face. Pause on it, man. This one kind of... <laughs> I don't know about this one. Alright, this is a good exposed video. It did... It did take a bit of my childhood away. But it didn't, like, go that hard. Because... In some of Berlizzi's video... Well, in most of Berlizzi's videos... He normally has some crazy ass conspiracy. He didn't really have one in this, which I'm kind of glad because if he did, it would have ruined it a lot more for me. And I still like Scooby Doo. So I'm glad that Berlizzi didn't go too hard on Scooby Doo. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. This is pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. He didn't go too hard, so I'm thankful for that. But with that being said, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Possibly share it with a friend. If you knew it, subscribe and join the family today. Also, make sure you go subscribe to Berlizzi. That link's in the description. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop!